Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the parallel line tool within the key point curve toolbox. So in order to access the parallel line tool, all you have to do is just go to the key point curve toolbox over here and under line, click and hold, and you can access it right here. So the point of the tool is, let's say you have a curve like this and you wanna make a parallel line, all you have to do is click on the parallel line tool click on the curve and you can adjust the offset amount and you can adjust the starting point and you can also choose the end point. Now, there are a little bit of limitations and to be honest, I don't foresee a lot of people utilizing, uh, utilizing this tool a lot because even though it's technically a key point curve toolbox, there are limitations on how many or how, uh, like what different attributes that you can adjust. And if you can see it here, yeah, you can adjust the length like this, but you can also do it with a regular line tool and you can also use uh, adjust the angle as well. Now, uh, one thing about this is that if you access the parallel line tool and you choose right like this and you create a curve here, there is a also a line offset option, but the problem is right now it's the curve is active and you can access it right away, but well, and you can also adjust it too. So let's say I want to make it instead of 244, I want to make it a whole number, so maybe 250. I can adjust it now, but let's say I do a pick nothing and I do click on this again, it disappears. So and probably the problem is if you had a curve that you want to make parallel to, all you have to do is just copy and paste and just drag it over like this. So it might there might be some use cases where this might uh, this tool might be really helpful, but in most uh, in most time in most of most of a modeling, let's say um, when you're modeling, there probably isn't a time where you would actually use this tool. Well, that said, that's the parallel line tool. And thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.